We're gonna be exploring what it's like to be a Marathi. Divided into two parts. Uh -huh. Part of it is in the more old cultural design. The other half shows you the modern side of Dubai. If I was to block out this side of my view right now, if I were to just look straight, I would not even imagine I'm in Dubai. Old way that they used architecture to cool the air. Emirati Heritage AC right there. Hi, this is the Dubai Creek. Dubai, it's like the center of the earth, literally. It, you can find anything from the east, anything from the west, anything, anything from the north, anything from the south. <laughs> Freedom of religion in the UAE, and apparently it's very tolerant here to practice whatever religion you want. In the Emirati house, like you can see here, you're outside, but you're still inside the house. Right. People from around the world would love to come and buy gold over here they can buy it in big amounts with cheaper and less taxes. Assalamu alaikum my friends and welcome to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. We've got a very very exciting video today. I actually linked up with a local woman here. I'm gonna introduce you guys to and we're gonna be exploring what it's like to be Emirati. What does that actually mean? We've got a lot of things to talk about today. I'm gonna be hopping in this blue Jeep. Hello! Hi, welcome to the Shalomobile. The Shalomobile, I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. This is Sumaya. Hi, how Sumaya? are you? Sumaya or Sumaya? Sumaya, Sumaya. Sumaya. I, can't, I can't get the pronunciation perfect. We actually linked up through a friend of a friend. I'm so excited to introduce you guys to her, but what are we, what are we doing right now? What are we going to do? First things first, mm -hmm. first cup before breakfast uh -huh. is karak tea. Karak tea? Yep. Okay, so this is a very local Emirati people, thing. People uh, wake up to drink coffee, we wake up to drink karak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. So what do you, you line up here to get it? Not exactly. I okay. can I can move a little bit forward and honk. I'll show you how we order. Okay. The I'm excited to see this. We have some sign language here. <laughs> it, it's been we hard for to... me in Dubai. I've been here for around a week to find like local things because I'm staying also in the downtown area. So this is the most local looking place I've been to so far. Local activities. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we do. Honk. We wait for the guy to acknowledge us and then he's coming over here to see what i need okay and then i do just that. like that yep and wait well, what was it you did again what i you just did? did this which uh -huh. means it's a cup uh-huh and i did this which means two <laughs> okay i need two cups of karak and he knows although he has lots of things to sell other than karak but he knows if i do this and this it's two cups of karak. Is there a name specific for this type of shop? Usually get karak from cafeterias like this mm -hmm. that look like this, but this is really famous because it's in Zabil and is where the sheikh lives. I think he also gets his karak from. You think so, actually? Yeah, locals oh. love to go wherever the, our sheikhs go. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is it. It's coming in. That was quick. Yep, it's very quick. And guess how much it costs? How much? You guess. Uh, 10, no. 5, 2, no. No. shukran, 20, no. 70, no. I don't know. <laughs> it just costs 2 dirhams. Yep. That's like 50 cents, I think, yep. US. <laughs> oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells so good. I feel weird saying this. It kind of smells like macaroni and cheese. I don't know why. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the milk. Maybe the milk, but in a good way, like a good yeah. macaroni and cheese. Oh man, I'm excited to drink this. People yeah, are just ordering I can't, food. I can't move. He's expecting me to move. Shukran. Shukran. We're gonna try this. What is it called in? Ka kar Karak. Karak tea. Yeah. And what did you say again was in here? You first boil the water, put sugar, uh, add the tea, mm -hmm. strong red tea or black tea. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> what do you call it in Arabic? What kind of tea? Just um, okay. shai, oh. uh, shai. Shai? shai. Ah, chai like chai. Okay. Chai, yeah. Okay. Then after it boils and like it really boils and the tea steeps in, then you add the evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. Why evaporated milk? Because you don't want to lose the creaminess of the milk. If you put fresh milk, then it will be diluted by the water and right. tea. So the evaporated milk gives it its creaminess, and then you have tea with milk. And we call it karak. Karak. All right, I'm going to try it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yep. Okay, I get it. Wow, that's awesome. And sometimes it mm. is addictive as much as coffee can mm. be addictive. 
I definitely see what you're talking about with the creaminess too. Like, yeah. I've had tea with milk with just normal milk in but it. It gets diluted. It gets diluted. It doesn't taste like this. This is very good. Tea with evaporated milk. That's phenomenal. And you guys use the evaporated milk from a can, right? Like just. Like, yeah, it's it's canned. <laughs> No, no, I think that's the only way you really buy evaporated milk, but that's that's good stuff. Wow, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's just ever so slightly sweet. It's not over the top sweet, it's good. Yes, it's it's exactly as I told you, like it's not too sweet, it's not candy sweet, mm -hmm. but it's sweet. <laughs> but it is sweet and it's good, wow. Mm. Okay, so we've come down to Al Sif. I was actually here a couple of nights ago, but at night it's way different during the day. Mm -hmm. It looks a lot, a lot prettier. And we're going to what, have a traditional Emirati breakfast now? Yes, we're looking for some food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But first, I want to take you to um, Hamad bin Rashid uh, Cultural Center. Okay. So let's go and see if they're open. <laughs> let's go. And you can see the streets here, man. They're so beautiful. So a seat is uh, divided into two parts. Uh -huh. It's like a whole area of like shopping. Like you can see like open stores like this. Mm -hmm. But part of it is uh, in the more old cultural design, as you can see the old buildings. And the other part of it, the other half, shows you the modern side of uh, Dubai. Uh, the buildings are more modern, more futuristic. So it shows you the old and the new. Mm -hmm. And this wasn't built for tourists or something, right? This is an actual town that used to, like, people used to... No, this one is actually built for tourists oh, okay. and, and for, like, uh, the locals. Uh -huh. But it is an extension and it kind of copies the oldest neighborhood in Dubai that goes back to 1800s. Okay. And you can see it right across of here, over there. You can see that? That's the old one. So that's actually the old one. It's a duplicate of it. Like uh -huh. they duplicated, they made it look like that one. But this is the original one. Okay, this over, over here. And here is the one that they made it look like. <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of myself because I was here the other night and I guessed that this was made for tourists. <laughs> I had a feeling that this was made for tourists, but this part is real. Yes, it's the oldest neighborhood in Dubai that that is still standing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the people living in it, but it's still standing as it is. <laughs> We're in the cultural center now and they're showing off like the setup of, they do like a cultural um, feast here where you sit on the floor and you eat. Also, this is very cultural. Uh, we welcome our guests with uh, scents. Mm -hmm. uh, we are known to love scents, that we burn scents. It's only for like good uh, smell and uh, it's, it's very welcoming because uh, the perfumes and scents that we buy are very expensive. Mm -hmm. So when you use it for your guests, he knows that you value them. Mm -hmm. Because you're burning the expensive scents that you bought. <laughs> so this is the incense right here. And you can definitely smell Arabic, it throughout the whole place. Wow, it's in Arabic, good. it's called Bukhur. Mm -hmm. And there's another type, which is called Oud, which is uh, extracted out of agar wood. Okay. When, when you burn it, mm -hmm. it also has a very, very nice smell. And usually it is very expensive. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a very typical setup right here. And there's obviously the cultural center. They host like tours here. So you can come and be a part of this meal. And you can see they've laid everything out. Uh, you're gonna have a bunch of people here. You see this? This part is where it was used. They kind of architected it in a way that the air could go inside and it's cooled by some kind of mechanism and it goes down to the home. Like air conditioning? So, yes, but it's like a old way that they used architecture. Mm -hmm to cool the air. Obviously, it's not like modern ACs, but it was better. <laughs> <laughs> like in the hot summer. Because it but... gets very hot here. I mean, there's there's days here where it's like easily 40, 50 degrees, right? Or 45. 50 something yeah. as well. Like uh, a Celsius. Yeah, it's like over 100 Fahrenheit. 57 sometimes. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. You've got Emirati heritage AC right there. Oh, these obviously reserved for the presenter, but I, I can show you. This is like the ghitra that is put on the head of the uh, man. Mm -hmm. And this on top of it is called a gal. And this under it, like the kippah, you put it on your head before you put the uh, ghitra. And this part here, I think, yes, this is the burga. 
It is a very traditional Emirati piece that a, a married woman would wear on her face. This is a religious thing or this is more cultural? No, it's cultural. Cultural, okay. <laughs> it is really cultural. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Yes, but it's different. It's not like the druzi, it's more thin uh -huh. and crispy. Okay. There's a fish sauce also. Fish sauce? Are you adventurous? I'm very adventurous. I, I love, 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 love trying new foods. Whatever is the most authentic, I'm done with that one. Okay, let's let's do two. Okay. I'll do, I'll do one with the fish sauce so you can try. And okay. one that's more like easy. Yeah, no, let's do it. <laughs> so the oven goes on. It is kind of different than the ones that I see in the Levant area. <laughs> Grandmas and maybe older mothers would uh, <laughs> use these. You're walking around the Emirates, you're not going to see this. No, no, some kitchens, yeah. some Emirati kitchens have this. But it's more expected to see it in like your grandma's house. And what is there a, a name for the setup for the whole thing? Is it like, um, you know, when you walk around the Jewish village in Israel, it's like a fita or No, a this is kibzadar. That's what it's called. The, the bread, khibz means lachem or uh -huh. bread. Khibz. Khibz means lachem or uh -huh. bread. Ergag means crisps, like very thin crisps. So it's Khibz Ergag. Khibz Ergag. Yes. This is the best. This is so good. <laughs> the, having this explanation is amazing. Okay, so I threw a little bit of water on here, oil. To make sure it's hot. So uh huh. Steaming hot. Okay, so now we got the dough. See how thin it is? You can see it's from here. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's very oh, an egg. Okay. Yeah, this one is going to be the mix of egg and cheese. Ghee is like butter, right? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes people have it without any toppings. Mm. Like just plain one. See the edges, it's crisping right now. It's like yeah. becoming red. Looks good. What kind of cheese do you usually use for this? Um, sometimes I use cream cheese because it's spreadable. Oh, okay. I've never seen this kind of cheese. It looks like mayonnaise. No, no, it's uh, cream cheese, spreadable wow. cheese. It's widely used. So you can see everything is boiling along here, it's getting all nice and hot. Mm. <laughs> Look at that drip, nice. Oh, it's like like slices of pizza. Some people don't slice it at all. They uh -huh. just like wrap it up and eat it. Mm -hmm. like, wrap it up into uh, lefo. And some people would prefer to just cut up, cut it up in like pizza slices. <laughs> it's like a straight up pizza slice. I love yeah, it. Right? That's awesome. This is the ghee, the butter, and then... This is dried, small crushed fish. So it's crushed and uh, mixed with ghee and other spices. Mm -hmm. It's influenced by the Persian culture fish okay sauce. like an Asian fish sauce and I don't like it very much but I'm assuming this is very different right yes. okay so that's the more typical way to yeah. to fold it so I like the way that they kind of designed the place because it kind of looks like the old Emirati cultural house mm -hmm. or where usually in the, in the Emirati house there's a living room and a, and a guest room but there's also where you sit outside uh, like you can see here, you're outside, but you're still inside the house. Right. You're outdoors, but you're still indoors. And where there would be a tree, usually a uh, almond tree, and you can see this thing over here, this basket, they usually use it to collect the fruits mm -hmm. or the dates or whatever. I love how they use the traditional pots uh, in creating the fountain. How do you call those teapots? Do you call it finjan also? Yeah. Della? Della. Finjan is for tea and coffee, but it's the cup. Della is the pouring pot. Mm. Yeah. And this is the basket. What are all the bottles? Was syrups? Um, yeah. The early 60s, I think, uh, there was something uh, called namlet. Just like Sprite and Fanta and whatever, but it's like sweet that they mix with soda and it comes a Sweden soda, like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, like Sprite, Fanta. So that was like a typical Emirati one. Try this. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> what do we say the name of this was again? Ergag. The bread, type of bread is Khubz Ergag. Khubz Ergag. It means bread. Ergag means like thin layer of crisp. <laughs> <Like. laughs> Alright, so classic, Flakes. typical Emirati. Khubz Ergag. Khubz Ergag. With fish sauce. This one is with mahiawa. It's not too strong, right? More spices than the fish, right? Tell them your opinion. I love it. Really? You do? 
<laughs> it's an acquired taste. Well, I'm Israeli. I've, I've had something like this growing up. Voila, that's cool. This is not... I've definitely tasted something like this before. I told you, it's Middle Eastern mm. and, uh, spices. The bread is similar to like an Indian dosa a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a little bit puffy, like a crepe, but different in a good way. Is it more crispier? It's, more, more... it's crispier and it's thinner. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh my god, I love this. You would never have this with hummus or something like no. that, right? This is the dip. Mm -hmm. This is what you put inside it is the dip. So here I chose to uh, add eggs and cheese. Mm -hmm. And here I decided to add ghee and mihiawa. Mihiawa is basically small dried fish that's grounded. Grounded. Ghee and spices. It's really, really good. I'm excited to try this one, but now we're getting some classic Emirati soda. This is called Namlet. Yeah, tell us the story, please. You know, the, there is some the bowl inside, inside. Uh-huh. See this one? Yeah. The glass bowl. This is like the same flavor, refresher, and it's like uh, some of the lock. It's the lock of yeah. the... Uh... So you can give it two ways to put. Mm -hmm. You put it from this way, you see there's some curve. Yeah. So this bowl will stop here, it will get easy. Mm. If you turn the other side, it will get only the gas out. Only the gas. So, huh? will stop the so it will lock it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I'll just show you. So if you shake this one, uh -huh. like a champagne. So I'm not going to do that one. <laughs> if I shake it, there is nothing to drink. <laughs> so, slowly. Okay, you pop the ball in. So, I will show you first from here. Okay. I will, can see the ball is here. It's stuck here. Yeah. Got it? Another side. <laughs> I'm sure my dad had fun drinking this. <laughs> so there's a little marble ball in the way. It does all that. That's so cool. Oh, that makes so much sense. You know, he said there's a marble ball. Do you know that using marbles in the time, like when my dad was a kid, they had these games that they played with marble mm -hmm. balls. I think after they drank this, they maybe would break the bottle and take out the... Get the marble out. Yeah, that makes so much sense. So wow. Good. Super cool. Emirati soda. Is mm, it good? I like it. Yeah? Well, I don't, I don't really drink soda. Mm -hmm. I never drink carbonated drinks, but it's barely carbonated, which is really nice. It's like not very bubbly. Mm -hmm. It tastes to me like in Israel we have barad. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like the, the little ices mm -hmm. you get from a convenience store? It just tastes like artificial flavor strawberry which is really good <laughs> i really like it and it's not overly sweet that's what i like about it okay i'm excited to try this one now tell me what you think so this is egg and cheese i'm gonna eat it like a new york slice <laughs> i'm gonna fold it like this shout out to all the new yorker emirati fantastic more richer yeah yeah oh i really like the cheese flavor and as you said the consistency of it is closer to mayonnaise but not really yeah yeah, yeah. That the consistency or the texture. Oh, this is great. It's so light. Mm. Oh, I love this. Do you like the crisp with it? I love it. <laughs> the layer is so it's so beautiful too. Look at that. Mm. The dough on the inside kind of stays a little bit raw. It's like a little chewy. Mm -hmm. And then the outside is crispy. Oh, that's fantastic. I don't know what's going on, but I love everything that's coming out right now. This is okay. awesome. So this is a very typical uh, Imarati uh, breakfast dish. Uh -huh. It's called balalit. Balalit? Balalit. 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 Yes. <laughs> balalit. Yes. So it looks like spaghetti with an omelet on it's top. It's vermicelli. Uh huh. Um, and exactly with an omelet on it. It's sweet and salty. You know, like when you have salted caramel yeah people like it and this is not like extra sweet it's like a moderate sweet and salty not cool. a strong taste so the vermicelli is the sweet part and uh, obviously the omelette is the savory part mm -hmm. and you eat them together and it's really good it's a protein and carbohydrates for your <laughs> breakfast nice and this one looks amazing. It's like a yellow pancake. Yeah, it, it is kind of like a pancake, but obviously our slices are different. Really feels like a pancake, but you can taste the difference with these spices that we use. Like mm -hmm. we use uh, 
uh, what do you call it, saffron. Okay. You can taste that. Sometimes they add uh, cardamom. Cardamom and saffron are the like the strongest spices in our Emirati dishes. We like to use them a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go ahead, try it. Okay. So this one, where you just eat it with a fork like this? Yeah, you can scoop it into your plate. Do you usually eat this one with bread or no? No. You no? Just eat it. Just scoop that little boy up in here. Yeah. Wow, I, I love this one, the way this one looks. Okay, so here's the omelette, here's the vermicelli. What do we say the name of this one again? Balalir. Balalir. What do you think? Oh, it is a little sweet. Sweet and savory, right? Mm. Now... Yeah, the omelette's very savory. The noodles have a hint of sweetness to them, I like it. I won't add it all over uh -huh. your dish, just for you to try some. Honey? Yeah, sweet. Either add honey or sugar. Okay. No, and this is a typical stopping. breakfast. <laughs> yeah. It is a typical Emirati breakfast. Balalir. I think I'm ready to apply for my uh, residency here. <laughs> I dig this one. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. The honey upgrades the dish. Yes? Yeah, for sure. We either, I, I prefer, usually I prefer to add sugar to mine. When you put the honey, the omelet all of a sudden became more savory. It became more salty. Yes, you can feel the difference, right? It's like a fusion of flavors where you, you feel a lot of sweetness in the beginning. Towards the end, it becomes salty. It's really good. Okay, then we have the uh, Emirati pancake. Yeah, this one, you can taste it if you're without any and the toppings on. Then these are the toppings you can add. So what do we have? Honey, cream? Honey, cream cheese, and this is uh, date syrup. Oh, I silan. You, How do you yeah. call it in Arabic? Uh, dips. Dips? Dips. Okay. Dips tamar. Okay. Dips is like the molasses. Uh huh. And tamar is the tamar in, in the Hebrew. Date. Yeah. The date, yeah. Dips tamar, or we just say dips because we know that. Dips means dates. Okay, cool. So I'm going to try this without anything first. Mmm. You like it? Mmm. Okay, so try it with the molasses. Wow, I love it. It's literally a pancake that's like a Middle Eastern pancake. I love it. Here's with the date syrup. I think I'm gonna love this. Oh man, I love this pancake. That's so good. I have a major sweet tooth. I can already tell Emiratis like their sweet sugar. Yes, we love our sugar. <laughs> We're having for breakfast soda. <laughs> oh no, look. The namlet is not usually sweet. Mm -hmm. Breakfast. With breakfast. Yeah. We tried it because it's what my dad used to have in the 60s. <laughs> but usually what we would have to drink in breakfast is the karak. Mm -hmm. uh, chai Sleimani, which is uh, Sleimani tea, which is just red tea with, with mint or without anything. Or we would have um, milk or leban. Leban is uh, something like sour milk. Mm. Not exactly, but... In Turkish, uh, Turkish they say ayran. It's milk that's kind of sour and salty. And you just drink it like that? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So different things that you can have on breakfast. Well, I am giving this a big old seal of approval. This is awesome. Like this is, the pancake is like explaining it to you. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, this tastes like home. Like it tastes like spices that my mom would use in cooking. Like the very Middle Eastern, Eastern very, it's, it, it's, it's like a pancake the same consistency as a pancake and kind of almost the same flavor with the flour but that spices it's like an twist. extra twist yeah it's a really nice mm. and the date syrup just makes it all, all the most better mm. i want to try it with a little bit of this cheese mm -hmm. try it. even the consistency of the cheese that's interesting too i love that okay let's try it with a little bit of cheese here mm. That's great. Mm. This has got a big old approval. I love this. Really yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. And this is, I think this is the same all over the world. At home, it's way better mm. and way much richer flavor than it is in like restaurants outside. Right. Because like mothers and grandmas are the ones who are making these dishes in the really original way. Mm -hmm. Usually in restaurants, people are taught the recipe and they do it on their own way. But at home, like in a homemade dish, homemade meal, it's like 10 times better. Well, inshallah, next time I'm in the UAE, I can inshallah. come back to a, a family and actually try this out in the family. But I'm, I'm loving it. Like this is, I really, really, really like it. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. It's such a unique breakfast, like such a 
This dish right here is one of the most unique things I've ever seen in my travels. It's sp spaghetti with eggs on top, it's yeah. so, and it's sweet. It's so interesting. Usually people, when, when I tell them about it without them trying it or even seeing it, they're like, eggs and vermicelli sweet and yeah. savory I'm like well people like solid caramel solid caramel is popular why not savory and sweet yeah <laughs> there you go dough mm -hmm. it's deep fried like donuts and it's sweet you have it with the deep syrup okay it's so the dough. dough itself is also already sweet maybe kind of yeah. but it, the the deep syrup is the Sweetener. Mm -hmm. Look how golden brown these guys became. This yeah. is so nice. And then some molasses. Yeah, the date syrup going in. Oh man, that looks so good. Little sum sum. Is this typical breakfast? This is typical dessert. But Just I typical mean, dessert. It's something that you should eat. That's yeah. why. Let's have it at breakfast. It's perfect, huh? Mm -hmm. I can tell. It's really good. Spot on. It's really yummy, but it's not spot on. Mm -hmm. I can make it spot on. It's actually hollow in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I've got a pocket of air. Soft dough on the interior mm -hmm. walls of it. Mm. I'm so happy. And the date syrup, again, it's like you think that the amount of date syrup that was in here, you think it would be overly sweet. It's not. It's actually not that sweet. Like It's sweet, but it's not you crazy it sweet. In. No. Look, you dip it in like this, in the syrup. Mmm. Well, I'm with my friend. We are in Old Dubai, uh -huh. and we're really close to the Hindu temple. Oh, that's where we're going now. That's why you see a lot of um, shrines. Yeah. These shrines, and these are like things that they decorate. So this is all leading towards the Hindu temple. We were talking a lot, me and Sumaya, about freedom of religion in the UAE, and apparently it's very, very tolerant here to practice whatever religion you want. So that's why you have a Hindu temple. So these are like the jasmine flowers that they usually decorate brides or people who like go to the um, temple and worship usually would wear these. Uh, the powders that they use to um, so. Yeah. Wow, this is a very different look from the rest of Dubai, huh? This yes. is not a typical... And this is, and <laughs> this I is like, awesome. I like this place because the alleys get tighter and tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the tightest alley I think in the old show. If I... Wow, this is exciting. This is a very different look from downtown Dubai where I'm staying. This is a very, very different experience. And you can smell the uh, scent. It smells amazing in here. Yeah. Yeah, if we had a little bit more Emirati breakfast, I don't know if we'd fit here. <laughs> in here because just, it's just like so narrow yeah it's actually really cool oh man what a cool view hmm? man this is a totally different experience from the rest of dubai it's completely so if, we're gonna do this if you if i was to block out this side of my view right now like here on the right if i were to just look straight i would not even imagine i'm in dubai there's no big buildings directly here it's all small this is dubai's creek this is dubai's creek and this is a man-made creek no, this is original? Natural, oh, yeah? Natural okay. Creek. Oh, man, this is super cool. It's actually very humid here, too. It's kind of nice. Right next door. I like it. How much do you think we could cross from here to there? I don't know, maybe $10, $5? Uh, 30 dirham? No. 20 dirham? No. 10 dirham? No. It's not, it's not less than 10, is it? 7. No. 10. I'm not, I'm not going to say 1. Is it 1? 2. 2 dirham? Yeah. 2 dirham? Per person. To cross? Wait, you just use it to go across, or you yeah, like yeah, you? Just go to across. Okay, that makes sense. To it's a short. Wow, that's super cheap. Yeah, that's oh fifty yeah. cents. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So, what do you pe people just do it to cross to the like other side? Take, like, if you take uh, one for yourself, like just for you and your person, or you and your family, uh, it's uh, twenty dirhams uh, for one point to another. But what? Why do you, why do I take the two dirham trip? is you get on a boat with random people, people you don't know. <laughs> you were like a little, you look a little thing of chaos, I like it. <laughs> a little bundle of chaos. Okay, so now we enter the spice uh, soup. Uh -huh. A spice and uh, garments and like the, the clothes, the spices. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you is this area right here is the most touristy area. So this is where you gotta haggle, 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 haggle. Do not accept, do not 
except uh, first price you get because they usually raise the prices for tourists. Uh -huh. Try to go below 50%. Yeah. <laughs> Try. I know, I know that game very well. <laughs> So Sumaya and I are getting some uh, some juices here, some fresh juices. So I talked about this in another video, but these are king coconuts from Sri Lanka. This is the best coconut on planet Earth. When I lived in Sri Lanka, I'd have one of these, at least one a day. And it's just the best coconut in the world. They're a little bit smaller than what I remember them being, but they're fantastic. In Dubai, it's like the center of the Earth, literally. It, you can find anything from the east, anything from the west, anything, anything from the north, anything from the south. <laughs> it's so good. I had one of these a day in Egypt. When I was in Egypt, it's so cheap there to have. It's like 50 yeah. cents. How was your, uh, how's your King Coconut? It's really refreshing. Yeah? I like it's it. good, nice and cold. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this shop, this is awesome. All the stuff. It's since 1970, even one year before the uh, Union. One chicken samosa. Yes. Thank you, brother. This is like 50 cents. So if you say Dubai is too expensive, no, you can come right here. Al Shaab restaurant. What do we say this was? This was Bakora. <laughs> Thank you. Be the judge. Better? He, he was right, actually. It is better. <laughs> Man, it's so affordable. And it was two Durham for a samosa. That's amazing. Okay, so Maya, we're going to. Can you just go right over there? You go right. You see over there where there's a drawing on that building? Yeah. That's where we're gonna stop. Okay. We're gonna cross the street. We're gonna get some Irani Faluda. How do you usually pay here? You pay before or you cash. pay? Before or after. <laughs> cash. <laughs> yeah, they don't take credit. No. I know. Obviously, I know that one. <laughs> so you said it was impossible to be one dirham, but actually each person is one dirham. So it changed. It used to be two. In the Corona time, because it was less people, so I think it was. Uh, More expensive. Yeah, because Corona, less but now, people. Now it's back to one, so it's literally, what, 25 cents to get on this thing. It's amazing. Look at this. Yeah, it's super cool, yeah. Each person designs his little boat as he wishes. This is one of the oldest cafes over there. One of the oldest cafes. And this is the neighborhood that I was telling you about. The oldest standing neighborhood in Dubai since the 1800s. This one right here? Right here. Wow. Are we technically going into new Dubai now? It's still old Dubai. We're all in old Dubai. This is the Dubai Creek. It's a natural path of water into land. That's what a creek is. So it's so funny to be next to this super old town and then in the distance you just see a, a high-rise building with the word Rolex on top of it. <laughs> Yeah. Over there. And this is where the seat, the new, the new uh, imitation of this. Oh, it's over there, yeah. So this is it, Iranian Faluda. I didn't know Faluda was also sold in Iran. I thought it was in India. So here's the menu. You got milkshakes and Faluda. I really like the way everything is spelled. Banana. You got banana strawberry. Okay, yeah, this is very different from Indian Faluda that I've had. It's with, um... Rose syrup, uh -huh. rose water, and lemon water. And lemon water. I mean lemon, lemon juice, sorry. <laughs> oh, it smells very rosy. What does it taste like? We have a we have a dessert in Israel called Malabi. I think it's eaten across the entire Middle East also. Mm -hmm. But I think it's more of the Levant area. This is like a, a cool, interesting take on Malabi. Mm -hmm. There's like a little ice inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like with coconut? the starch. No, no, no. That's... Uh, some kind of starch it's either rice or potato starch i'm not sure which one and it's one made into it... like vermicelli or like noodles but it's not really noodles it's really good yeah. it's just super sweet my whole my mouth is like and cold and, and cold. refreshing yeah. right it's nice and this heat is so hot it just <coughs> wow that is delicious and yeah wow i just got a big i got a big taste of the lemon right now mm-hmm yeah, I think I, wow, that's it's just like drinking lemonade. This street is so freaking cool. So many little shops selling all kinds of things, lots of spices and smells and candles, jewelry. So I've been told I needed to come to the gold soup. What actually is the gold soup? It's a gold soup. <laughs> I think because Dubai is a place where we have the least taxes on mostly anything and everything. 
people from around the world would love to come and buy gold over here because they can buy it in big amounts with cheaper and less taxes mm -hmm. over here you can see how big these designs are and they're like pure gold gold that's over 18 carats you say uh, 18, 21, 22 carats. The higher it is, the more expensive and purer it is. Wow, so this is all real gold. It's all real gold. Wow, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> not, not that, what, not what he's pointing on. I don't think that's gold, but oh. there's something next to him on the mannequin, which is pure gold. The, the bra? No, is that, that's real gold? Yes, look at it, go closer. All of it? Yes. And there's the price tags too. You can wear this over like a garment you're wearing. Damn, that's like, really fancy. Oh my God. This is an actual crown. <laughs> that's crazy. So also some of the like more traditional designs of Emirati gold mm -hmm. because uh, not every design but that is, is that our traditional good. historical style. There's Indian style, there's Bahraini style, there's uh, different styles of designs of necklaces and jewelry. Oh, like, so you can point out the actual Marathi... Yes, yes and oh, I want nice. to do that with you. I want to show you which one is... Awesome. Those that are that look like a crescent. Yeah. Oh, really? This is yes. more Marathi? The, yes. And you see those with thorns, like the, uh, the uh, bracelet with thorns and colorful uh, beads. These are also uh, more Emirati style. Golden crocodile. This would go on your arm, right? On your yeah. forearm? I don't know how she carries it on her ears. Yeah, what do you even wear? Like, how look, at, look at my hand. Compare it to that. What do you do with that? You put that on your front of your dress? Well, it's not our culture. I think it's an Indian culture yeah. Yeah. or some other culture that I'm not very aware of. But I think, yes, they wear it over their garment. Crazy. Like, oh, see this one. Look at that. This is the traditional Emirati set. This uh -huh. is what's like that? Yes. Yeah, see those over there? Yeah. These are all like the Marathi style. These ones here in the middle? Yeah, yeah. all of those. Those that look like a crescent. Uh -huh. That look like a crescent. Uh -huh. These are like more Marathi traditional style. Those as well. Uh, they're called uh, Mertasha. Yeah, each one is called something. This one is called Maria. This one is called Mertasha. Mertasha literally means the shivering one because like when you hold it oh it like, shivers. It shivers yeah like, wow yeah that's cool and this one uh, like the small ones is literally translated to chokers oh you put this around your neck they're hanagi i got you they call it hanagi which means to, to choke yeah hanag hanagi yeah okay we are leaving the al suq al kabir is that what it was called al suq al kabir if that means the great suq or the big suq or the big suq yeah, speak a little out of here. Just a wee bit. We're doing good. Just a shwaya shwaya. Uh, we're heading now back the ferry way to the other part of the old town because we got more exploring to do over there. Uh, specifically exploring with our stomachs. <laughs> the best kind of exploring. Where we're going now is one of the, well, the oldest Iranian uh, restaurant in Dubai. It has been there since, I think, 68 or 67 or something like that. Here, it looks like it's not a fancy area and no one would want to come here but when you enter you will see that you entered an era of the 70s and you will see all the souvenirs going back in time and you will see all the pictures of celebrities on the wall did you, did you spot anyone no one that i can recognize so far no who's that oh uh what's his name uh uh, Harvey, Steve Harvey. Oh yeah, look at him. Okay, so this is chicken soup. Mm. Iranian chicken soup. Mm, it's really, really good. Tell me what do you think? So I can see some dill inside of yes. here. I think these are chunks of chicken. And tomato. And tomato. Lentil and like some oh, it has lentil in it too. Yeah. Oh wow, the smell is phenomenal. Also try to squeeze some lemon into it. Mm. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic. It's giving me like a little bit of a melukhiya vibe, yeah. but but better in my the, opinion. The runniness, right? Yeah. But the runniness, I think it comes from the bar, uh, the barley. 
the runniness, but it's in my opinion, it's better consistency in the middle feet. I mean, I think it can kind of be a little slimy sometimes. This is a. Uh, it's perfect. It's chunky. It's chunky. It's like a chowder. Yeah, it is. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. You can see the, the how the meat is sweating yeah. on the bread, and it's gonna absorb all these juices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a green one. I like that. So we leave this on for a little while. This is with yogurt. Yeah, this is half chicken and half mutton. Okay. Mint kebab mutton. Half wait, half chicken, half mutton. Mutton. Yeah. No, this is mutton. Oh, it sounds so good. Okay. This is lamb kebab. Lamb kebab. Dry lemon lamb. Dry lemon chicken. Chicken mint. 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 This is chicken with saffron. Wow. I am so excited for this. So I'm gonna follow the advice here. We're gonna make a little pita. We have the bread. Put some of that in there. A little tomato, a little onion, a little yogi. You look happy. And there we go. Close this, close this puppy up. Man, the, the one of the most things I'm gonna miss the most when I leave the Middle East in like a couple days is like just moments like this. Good meat, good bread, good sauces, great people. I, I, I love this. Mm. Wow. That was fantastic. That was super yummy. That was delicious. So, I think we're gonna call this one a, a finished video right here, right? That was pretty awesome. Thank you so much for coming around with me. Guys, I'm gonna link her Instagram down below in the description. You can follow her. We're also hopefully gonna film another video tomorrow together. Um, and we're gonna give you guys a little bit more of an insight of their story and some interesting things we didn't touch on today especially more on the cultural side of being an Emirati. So make sure you're staying tuned for that. We'll see you in the next one. And also, please become a member and join the channel because it really goes a long way to supporting me. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye, class.